In a displacement reaction, a more reactive element displaces, which means pushes out, a less reactive element. Here is an example. Iron, when reacted with copper sulphate, will push out the copper and you will end up with iron sulphate plus copper. So we say that the iron has displaced copper and you can see it as it has swapped positions with the copper. So now the iron is bonded to the sulphate and the copper is on its own. And here is the symbol equation. Fe plus CuSO4 would make FeSO4 plus Cu. And the reason that these displacement reactions take place is all to do with reactivity. In the reactivity series, iron is more reactive than copper. And for a displacement reaction to take place, it only works if the element on its own is more reactive than the element in the compound. So in this equation, iron is on its own, and that is more reactive than copper which is at the moment bonded as a compound. So the iron will push out the copper and you will end up with iron sulphate plus copper. Here is another example. Lead plus copper sulphate would make lead sulphate plus copper. And as a symbol equation, Pb, which is lead, plus CuSO4, which is copper sulphate, would make lead sulphate PbSO4 plus Cu. And this works because lead is more reactive than copper in the reactivity series. Here is an example that would not work. Iron plus magnesium sulphate. This reaction will not work because iron is less reactive than magnesium and therefore cannot displace the magnesium. So here are some displacement reactions for you to try. Take a look at the following reactions, and there are five here written as word equations, and complete the displacement reactions, but only the ones that will work. So use the reactivity series over here to help you. Pause the video, complete the reactions that will work, and then come back and see if you've got them correct. So for the first one, lead is less reactive than iron. So lead cannot displace the iron from iron sulphate. So well done if you'd worked out that this one will not work. For the second one, you have zinc and silver nitrate Zinc is more reactive than silver, so that will displace the silver, and you will end up with zinc nitrate plus silver. Then we've got zinc and iron oxide. Zinc is more reactive than iron, so it will displace the iron, and the products will be zinc oxide plus iron. In the next one, iron and copper. Iron is more reactive then copper, so it will displace the copper from the copper oxide and the products will be iron oxide plus copper. And in the final reaction you've got zinc and magnesium sulphate. Zinc is less reactive than magnesium, so zinc will not be able to displace this magnesium from the magnesium sulphate. So well done if you worked out that this one will not work. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.